Hey guys, Matt and Mr. Barron's here again. Uh, in this video, I'm going to take you through um, changing general form of a line to other forms. So this is the general form of a line, AX plus BY plus C. And a lot of times, you need to change general form of a line because general form of a line is not good for, um, you know, it doesn't have any real specific purpose, um, you know, for graphing or things like that, like Y equals MX plus B or slope intercept form or slope point form are really good for graphing. Uh, general form of a line has its other purposes, like for solving systems and things like that. Um, but for graphing, it's not the best form to use. So oftentimes, we have to algebraically rearrange it in order to make it a little bit more useful. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Um, so uh, this is best for if you're graphing. If you're given general form of a line and you have to graph something. So... Uh, these are the three forms of a line, y equals mx plus b. This is slope-intercept form. The second form here is called slope-point form, y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. And then, of course, the last form is general form that I just mentioned. And if you need a little bit more familiarization about general form, I have a video on it that you can watch. And just go to my YouTube channel and search it up. All right, so we have uh, 4x minus 2y plus 6 and we want to change it to slope-intercept form. So first of all, we need to recognize, and I'm missing my marker here on the side, so I'll get it from here. We need to recognize that this guy is general form. So, and we need to recognize, of course, what slope-intercept form is. Well, slope-intercept form is y is equal to mx plus b. So we need to solve this equation for y. So let's see, 4x minus 2y plus 6 is equal to 0. So essentially, guys, I, I show my students two different ways to do this, which is always take everything other than y to the right side, or if y, 2y, if, if the y term is negative, take that to the right side. So I'm going to show you um, the second way. That's the way I prefer, which is if my y... The number in front of my y in general form happens to be negative. I'm going to add 2y to both sides. And I'll show you why I do that. Why? Uh -huh. So I end up with 4x. So this cancels out. 4x plus 6 is equal to 2y. That way, if I did it the other way, I would have a bunch of negatives. So I, that 4x on this side would be negative 4x. This positive 6 would be negative 6. And I'd have to change all my signs. So that's an extra step that I now don't have to worry about. But a lot of my students really hate it when the y is on the right side because they're so used to seeing it on the left side. So all you can do at this step is just, you know, just reverse it. 4x plus 6. And then we can't have anything in front of the y, so we need to make sure we divide every single thing. So that means I divide the 4x and the 6. Um, so that way I, I, you know, keep the equality of my equation happening. Let me get my pen again. Uh, so this, this becomes y... 4 divided by 2, or 4 divided by 2 is 2, x plus 3. And there it is. This is my slope-intercept form right here. And, you know, there's not much to, other than that, guys. It doesn't get much more complicated than that. Uh, that's as pretty straightforward as it gets. All right, let's see another one. So now I have 5x minus 4y plus 8 equals 0. And I'm asked to change it to slope point form. So remember what slope point form looks like. It looks like y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. Just like that. So I'll start it exactly the same way. I'm actually going to put this in y equals mx plus b form first. So, um, and again, this is an optional way of doing it. But again, I'll start with the negative 4y. So... Since I have a negative 4y, I'm going to add that 4y to both sides. So I don't have to worry about a bunch of negatives. So add 4y. So if it was positive, I would take the other two things and bring them to the other side. I wish this one was positive. Though. So 5x plus 8 is equal to 4y. And again, I know people don't like that, so I'll rearrange it this way. So now again, I divide everything by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4, and I end up with 
y is equal to 5 over 4x plus 8, or sorry, plus 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. There's nothing I can do with this fraction, so I'm just leaving as that. Now, all I have to do to get this to go to slope-intercept form is really take this 2 across to the other side. So subtract 2, or not slope-intercept form, slope-point form. So I get y minus 2 is equal to 5 over 4x. And there it is. Although it doesn't look like a typical slope-point form, it is in slope-point form just happens that this x coordinate here is actually 0. So my point of slope point form would actually be 0, 2. So the point just happens to be the y-intercept. So it's kind of a trick, but it is what it is. It works fine. Um, so I hope, guys, that this helps you be able to transfer in forms. Now, I do have this question right here that's asking me to graph this guy. So this is a general form again. Um, so this is where you would actually, in the application of where you would actually use this. So Let's go ahead. You know what? I'm going to change this to plus just to show you what happens if we have a positive y value. So I have 10x plus 5y. So 10x plus 5y minus 15 is equal to 0. And since I have a positive 5y, I'm just going to get everything else to the other side. So I'm going to track, subtract 10x from this side. And I'm also going to add 15 at the same time just to save myself a step. So I end up with 5y is equal to negative 10x plus 15 divide by 5 divide by 5 make sure I divide everything by 5 and that gives me y is equal to negative 2x plus 3 there it is so now what I need to do is I need to graph this guy so this is slope intercept form so I have to recognize my slope is negative 2 and my b is 3. So I plot my y my y intercept first. That's what b is, y intercept. So there's my b value. Now what this slope means is slope is a set of instructions, rise over run. So my rise is 2 down because it's negative 2. And my run, since there's no fraction here, my run is just 1 to the right. So I'm going to go 2 down from this and then 1 to the right. And here's my point. Now all I need to do is just connect these up, so I'll find a line. Here it is. And just connect them up. And then I'll just extend that a little bit. And there it is, guys. There's my line. So I hope this helps you guys on your journey to be able to understand general form. I know it's kind of a... It's not the most exciting topic because a general form doesn't have the same applications as y equals mx plus b, but... Still something you need to know for your math classes. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe, comment, ask me a few questions. If you have any requests for videos, please let me know. Um, share with this your, share this with your class, with your friends if you find this helpful. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in class. Good luck.